Hey everyone, Mr. Messier here. This is a lap guide for the new lap time challenge taking place at Road Atlanta with the KTM Crossbow. So this event is over on Sport Mode, so make sure you have menu book number 9 to be able to access this online time trial. And it's a two-week event ending at the end of April 24, 2024. We're on the Sport Soft Tires uh, stock settings for the crossbow, and your goal is to get within the 3% time range of the world record time when the event ends, as that is when your lap time gets counted. Here are my in-game tags in case you want to see my replay. I'll also leave it as a link in the description down below. So that's another way you can access it. But now let's get started with the lap guide. All right, so as you're exiting the final chicane, uh, you can go up to fourth gear for a little more control of your car. And for the final turn, you can take a flat out, but you can also do a little courtesy lift to make sure that you're able to cleanly get through the final turn and start your new lap. Your first breaking point is just as the grass on the left ends, so you brake hard for a short moment, shift down to fourth gear at the same time, and start to turn in almost immediately after. If you do it just right, the car will go into a nice little slice so you can go through this first turn with a bit of style. Ease off of throttle as you go through this left turn because you want to brake just as the curb on the left starts. Slowly ease on the brakes so the car stays under control. Turn in when the curb on the left ends. And you can keep two wheels on the blue and yellow curves, that way you're still in track limits. Do a little bit of throttle control as you go through this left turn, stay on the left. And just before the curb on the left starts, that's where you want to start to turn in towards the right. And you want to do a little bit of throttle control. You can even use that little pause when you're going from fourth to fifth gear as your little bit of throttle control. That way you can easily go through the S's. Now for this left turn coming up, you're gonna brake right as the curb on the right starts and you're turning in when that same curb on the right ends. So you're gonna brake hard for a short moment, go down to fourth gear, turn in with a curb on the right ends and just ease off the brakes as you're turning in so doing a bit of trail braking and you pretty much want to have the car pointing towards the direction of this mini straightaway because it's really easy to go a bit wide and get an off track penalty but anyways break before the little piece of tarmac on the right starts so you're braking hard for a short while easing off of the brakes as it's turning in so doing a bit of trail braking and just as you complete this turn that is where you want to go ahead and start to brake once again now brake just a little bit earlier than where i start to brake uh, this is where i go down to third gear for a little more rotation and just being nice and careful getting back on the throttle and again you can brake just a little bit earlier than where i do because i braked just a hair bit too late now here is where you take a nice little breather because you're going to go flat out through uh, this kind of long back straight here at Road Atlanta. Bring us up towards the right and your final breaking point is going to be just after the 300 feet board. So this uh, feet board right here, break right after you pass it, break as much as you can, go down to 30 gear. Turn in just as a curb on the right ends and you can't take advantage of these curves as you're still within track limits. And as you exit the final chicane, you can go up to fourth gear. Just be nice and careful getting back on the throttle. This final turn can be taken flat out, but if you need to, go ahead and do a little courtesy lift to make sure that you cleanly complete the lap. All right, gonna go through this again, but this time I am not going to uh, stop the video gonna break when the grass on the left ends go down to fourth gear and turn in almost immediately after you get the car into a nice little slide for turn number one turn number three coming up is where you want to ease off of a throttle then break when the curb on the left starts uh, taking advantage of the blue and yellow curves as you're still within track limits a little bit of throttle control as you're going through the s's shift up to fifth gear then break when the curb on the right starts going down to fourth gear being patient through here because it's really easy to get on the throttle too early and end up going wide and get your lap time invalidated. Uh, brake just as the piece of tarmac on the right starts. 
You can stay on fourth gear for this turn, but for this next right turn, go down to third gear for a bit more rotation. Break just a little bit earlier than where I break as I went just a little bit wide through there. Uh, here you can take a nice little breather as you're going down the back straight, but eventually you do want to make your way towards the right side of the track as you want to break just after the 300 feet board. We'll go ahead and wait until we get there. Okay, there we go. So break right right after the 300 feet board. Go down to third gear for more rotation. Up to fourth gear as you exit the final chicane. This final turn can be taken flat out, but you can also do a little courtesy lift to make sure that you clean, cleanly complete the lap. And just barely poking into the 124s. Hey. I think it's an okay lap, but anyways, uh, that's all for this lap guide. Hopefully, uh, this lap guide helps you out. This is Mr. MCA going through allergies to screw these allergies. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.